Hi guys, um, thanks for coming to uh, my session. Uh, I'm going to be about another um, sort of 20 minutes. Um, the discussion today is, um, as you've probably been um, involved in many discussions over the last few days um, about engaging with brands, um, how to deliver. Um, you'll see across the um, floor today some amazing ideas, some, some different ways that you can use your different technology, um, all of the hardware devices that you'll see here today, um, the amazing outputs you can create. But actually what I'd like to talk to you about is how can you bring that together? What happens if a customer walks up tomorrow and says, yes, I want to do that. I want to be able to bring that to reality. And part of what we do as a business is enable that. So I want to, to talk to you about that um, for the next 15 to 20 minutes. My name is Douglas Gibson. Um, I'm the CEO of the company and founder. Um, we've been running around um, seven years now, um, providing solutions um, for many different parts of the printing world. Um, we are an award-winning solution. We've won many awards for the product that we have. Um, we have just over 40 um, employees worldwide, uh, and we manage over 1,500 sites across the globe, so, servicing a massive, wide variety of industries. We have offices in three, um, three areas, in the US, um, in North America, um, United Kingdom, which is a HQ, um, and Moldova. And we work with a, a plethora of businesses, both corporate, large and small, um, and also some very niche companies um, that are allowed to bring the online presence. So why should we talk? Well, um, when you come to these shows uh, such as D-Scoop, um, you're looking for new ideas, innovation. You're looking at new technologies on hardware that can add value to your business, that can help your customers. And then a customer says, I've got this idea. I want to be the next Coke campaign, the Teller campaign. We, we, we hear it time and time again. But what is involved in bringing that campaign to real life? How do you deliver a front-end solution? How do you deliver an in-store solution? And that's something that ourselves and Figure Software and part of the technology can provide you with the glue to bring your hardware, your ideas, your workflow together. We can help deliver and create new market revenue streams. Whether that be directly yourself, going direct to public, or actually working with your key clients, your key suppliers, and helping them with a front-end portal that can deliver new ideas, new technology direct to their customers. Deliver something that's beautiful. You guys create amazing end products. They're handcrafted and absolutely beautiful. You need to make sure that the website, the front end capabilities that you're delivering to those clients is as good as the end production. Because that's the first point of call that your customers are going to be judging you on. You need to engage with the customer. Not only do you need to provide a front end that works, is fast, is mobile enabled, but engages with the customer. It talks about how you interact with them. It asks ideas, it suggests them. It's easy to use. And this technology, um, as much as it's a probably um, an industry term of web to print, it's evolving at a faster pace than none of us can even realize. Into labels, into the flexo side, into the carton production. If I look at the demonstrations, the discussions, the meetings I've been involved with in the last three months, not just with you guys as production partners, but also the brands, the customers, the corporates that are engaging with ourselves to say, look, we love these ideas, we love these concepts, but I'm not quite sure how to bring them to life. And that is something that we can help with you. So why should we start looking at it now? Well, hopefully, um, if you're here at d you're either going to be looking at investing in new machinery, you have existing machinery, you like to look at new ideas, new revenue opportunities. Consumers are blown away of what the possibilities are in today's marketplace. If I stood here um, at the last d that we did in the EBA in, in Lyon and looked at the growth of businesses such as Uber, 
Amazon, Airbnb. That growth is driven by a demand from the consumer to want things faster, more accessible, quicker, simpler, and all together as a package delivered in a very fast-paced way. So that means you guys, as production partners, need to be able to offer solutions to those consumers that might only run for three months, or six months, or nine months, or be a long-term campaign. Have the software solutions, your teams, have they got the skills, the knowledge, the technology to be able to take these ideas, deliver them into the business, and then make sure that it's profitable, automated. And with all of that in mind, making sure that the user experience is number one. That we do not use the functionality to overwrite the experience from our customer. If you ever, anybody here that's maybe used Airbnb, Uber, those apps demand and give the best experience. So we have to, when we're talking about delivering all of this online or in a kiosk or in store, we have to make sure that we bring that experience directly with the front end of the website. And as we've talked about, and I have for, for, for many years, apart from my boyish good looks, I'm actually a fairly old man. Um, well, nearly 40. Um, old in some people's eyes. Um, been involved in this 20 odd years now. And we started back um, many, many years ago talk, talking about trans promo. How you can use the everyday print to interact and engage with that consumer. Now, with the, 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 the way that the packaging, whether it be Flexo, labels, um, into the, the, the carton production, we now have all the machinery, the finishing, the, the, the um, workflows, the delivery mechanisms, the amazing software from the partners such as Siteflow that allow you to batch, create and deliver and automate those workflows. We can now deliver that fast-paced demand. We can use those packages, those information to can interact with the consumer. And as a quote from a consultant we work um, very closely with, you cannot wrap your chips in pixels. And never a truer word be said with what's going on. And the general commercial print world has been battered by email and, ah, oh, it's all, print is dead, it's on its way out. But actually, the, the, the growth, you always need to put something in a packet. You always need to, going to be able to provide a, a, an offer. And that offer is going to have to be a, a printed product uh, or a finished printed product. That is the natural way that we, we, we move forward. The difference is we can do that in a much faster way. And also the, the beauty of what this is doing that you would have heard many, many times today and I had the pleasure of joining HP Interpac. Um, where we created a very um, small chocolate box. I don't know if anybody actually got one of those. Customers um, today have actually come onto the stand and, and last night and come with it. That's a little chi tiny chocolate box that they said to us, this is you guys every day that are living and breathing this technology. My son loved this. I gave this to my daughter. Oh, uh, one guy said to me last night, um, oh, we, I, I, I bought a little um, dinosaur for my son cost me 20, 20 euros, um, but when I gave him that chocolate box with his picture on it, as a four or five year old child, that's all he was interested in. That emotional connection that you get when you place not just a name, but something of interest to that user, you capture their need, their requirement. You've got them emotionally. That product will stay in their presence for much, much longer. And it's not just, as, as we'll see different ways, it's not just putting the name on. It's not just putting an image on. It's bringing the whole context of the situation, regionalization, variation, the amazing stuff like the mosaics of it. Bringing all of these different technologies together and delivering that. And you'll see tons and tons of these sites and, and, and pictures put up across all the place. We ourselves have delivered some for some big big brands, for Hershey's, for Top Trunks, 
um, for, for other people, print my spot. We're doing lots of this sort of stuff every day. And it has to be in the most perfect, beautiful fashion. And the amount that we can then drive forward. I've got a customer that we're working on at the moment in the US, and they produce um, for a number of the large supermarkets, tons and tons, hundreds, hundreds of thousands, probably millions and millions of Flexo products, Flexo packages. And what they want to do, they've been driven down by the supplier to say, actually they're a pence per unit, a pence per unit. And now they want to say, oh, can we do these personalized um, kids um, sweets? And can we have them for the same price? And once it, it, for now he's not going to be, he's, he can offer the service, he can offer the solution. He's not been, he's not been knocked by his customers to go, oh, well, he's offering at that price, he's offering at that price. He's adding value to the sale. He's add, adding value to the product. And he can demonstrate true value back to his customer to say, well, actually, it's not about whether you can get a 50 pence cheaper or a dollar cheaper or 50 cents cheaper. It's about what does it mean to that brand? How is it going to help them? What is it going to enable them to do? And that's the difference of what we're talking about. We're obsessed with smartphones. We're obsessed with taking pictures of each other and putting them somewhere. Social media, Facebook, that's got to go, that stuff has to go somewhere. And even better for you guys, that's going to end up on a product. And that doesn't matter what that product is, as you'll see around you. A book, a photo book, a bottle, a bag, a cushion. There's so many different applications, but you need to be able to engage with that consumer and interact with them in a very polished way. This is a crazy fact here. Nearly 60% of consumers won't recommend a site which has a poor experience. The engagements we have with customers, almost the last piece of the jigsaw, all right, yeah, we'll build you a site, it'll be all right, it'll work. That almost sometimes should be the ground up of the experience in line when you create all the product development stuff because that becomes as powerful and as emotional as the end product. And now you've engaged with the client, you're providing with a beautiful service both online through your service delivery. How can you get that customer coming back? I honestly annoys me that the amount of conversations I have, oh, I just want to do it for this campaign, it's just this campaign. And I say to this, it's not about this one campaign, it's about longevity. It's about what can you, you've done this today, but how can we take it forward? What are we doing with the data that we've gathered from the campaign? How are we analyzing the campaign's been a success? So making sure that post campaign we've got that analytical data, how are we interacting, what browser, where did they come from, was it mobile, what did they use um, Safari, was it Chrome? What part of the country were they in? What time of day? So next time we do that campaign, we are so much more targeted. And we start and link that back together. And then we can push that out with offers, ideas. We link part of the sales cycle together. And we can all do that, and you guys can then bring that much longer conversation so you're moving away from how many of those can you do per minute? What's the plan for a thousand for doing that? And it just, it doesn't just have to be online. We did, um, last year we did a, an in-store experience um, with the guys from Motion Cut. We were laser engraving live in a customer product. So we created two um, iPads that sat at the, the front of the store. This is a huge store, probably as big as this um, conference hall. The guys come in store, choose the product, they then so there was about 10 to 15 different products, anything from a, a sports drink bottle to some chocolate boxes to some chocolate tins. They could then pay an additional five pounds. Imagine going out to oh, put a label on there and it'll be a five pound. All of a sudden you have an extra five pounds. And it's not the five pounds, the product's probably ten pounds. It's a 50% increase in charge. 
that these guys are able to do in store. I think they did something like 6,000 in the first week. And not only that, the social media impact, the promotional side, was absolutely crazy. So it doesn't have to be in just online, it can be in store or a combination of both. As I mentioned a couple of times, it's not just about that personalization aspect. We've got a customer that we're working on at the moment that they want to be able to get faster time to, 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 to market for various different short run products. Products maybe that have a small shelf cycle or, or, or have a date um, constraint or something like that. So they don't need this huge amount of packaging that they're previously using. But the beauty is they're still ordering potentially the same amount of product, but the value may have gone down, but the profitability would have shot through the roof. And we've got a, a, a client in, in, in Europe who um, is doing a, a number of parts and stuff. And he said to me, he said, Douglas, he says, my revenue has dropped 10 times since I introduced this to my client. I was like, well, that's, that's a shame. I said, what does that mean to you? And he's, well, not a lot really, because the amount of money we're making now is absolutely five or six times that we're ever able to charge. And actually, so, so, so not only did you have been able to make some more money, happy days, that's why we're all here, your revenues have gone down. He said, well, yeah, but the complexity, I don't have to finish a million of these things within a short window. We can deliver these throughout the year, so my business is less forced on these particular times. So it's more than just about that personalization. It may be bring less season and more, um, you can introduce these in a more gradual way. And the marketing side has been mentioned more and more. Um, I work with um, the consultant I mentioned, um, Peter Lancaster from DocuMobi. Um, we're working on a campaign at the moment where we're making the whole product interactive. So not only are we creating an amazing experience online, a product then gets delivered to the consumer, but then in following that product around as they share it with their friends. And once again, we've extended that life cycle, that interaction with that product. And you guys all know, you've probably heard that a billion times over the last few years, the amount of people that are saying, share a coat, share a coat. Um, Chris is over there did an amazing campaign with the Kit Kat guy. The amount of excitement that becomes that these brands were never able to do and now can deliver. But I think the important thing as well, we don't just have to think about some of these crazy super brands. We've got someone going at the moment where we've got a customer that have delivered five or six small projects, but each of those projects are probably worth 200,000 pounds. So as a combination, that's a great amount of money. And because the product's delivered at a very quick pace, the cash flow, you're getting your money in quicker, the deal's done quicker, and people are a lot happier. So it's, it's in a much more different way. It doesn't just have to be the super bank. There's lots of amazing brands that are coming out there, launching new ideas, creating new thoughts. And with this amazing technology, we've been bringing it all together. We can help them with those ideas that just weren't possible 12 months ago, 18 months ago, a couple of years ago. And that's what excites me. Coming up with new ideas, engineered by background, I like to build things, create things, and almost it's frustrating that I run a software business. But we don't create anything, it's all up in the cloud. I get these bills for all this stuff that's up in the cloud, drives me mad. I only got a, a, a bill for a box or a widget, or, but now we're working with you guys, we're building these end products, and it's absolutely exciting and amazing. And I've just discussed all of these benefits that, that, that the customers are are experiencing and the beauty is is marketing sometimes can be very judgmental but we can use actual facts from what we're delivering to get with proper return and that's always been a problem if you look at the traditional direct mail what return has that but has somebody read it has it engaged with it? we can use technology and tools to make sure what people are doing with this how they're interacting Simple as QR codes or image recognition or HP link and, and different technologies, DocuMobi and things like that. There's ways that we can get true fact to then use it on further campaigns. 
So if you'd like to see some of these things and what we can offer, what we can do, then please come along. We're just across the, the way it stands. Um, D82, I think it is, 62. Um, and we can talk about some of the stuff that we're doing on an everyday basis. It really is exciting. And not only can we help you with the front end, we will make sure that the experience runs right the way through. We are interested in making this work. We're not just going to hand this over. In a partnership to make sure that your jobs can come in. How are you going to manage it from the workflow? How are you going to get your barcodes? You may be moving from dealing with 100,000 labels and four jobs a day to 100 jobs a day and different reels. How are you going to split that up? How do you know of a job on that flexo reel is for that customer, that customer, that customer? We can make sure that we've got the amazing partnerships and the integrations with things such as site flow, barcoding, and the delivery systems to make sure that this can really be a success. And we have a fantastic experience in making this happen. Whether it be a small level or delivering 100 plus thousand um, orders a day. And it really has moved beyond web to print. It's a technology in my book that it's almost worn out a little bit. It, it, it's really evolved. Um, and the beauty of me working with my business is everybody is engaged in what they do and helping the client. So you know that when you're speaking with us and you ask us to bring us in a project, we'll make sure that we're there for the long term. And my whole team are there to support that idea and that thought process. And there are a number of ways that we can have support with you, with the data management app analytics, working with different uh, networks of suppliers and interfaces, making sure that the whole journey is delivered in a very positive way. And the partnerships that I've mentioned are so important for that. And we're continuing working with different ways to be able to deliver the whole story. We had a client the other day that had an amazing idea and he probably spent a million pound plus in the kit. He'd spent a hundred thousand pounds on some software internally. And he said, Doug, we're just not getting this off the ground. I said, well, let's, let's have a look at your marketing plan. What are you doing? How are you going to get there? What's the target? What are you after? How many units are you looking to get in? We said, oh, well, I haven't worked it out yet. I said, so you just spent a million pound plus and you haven't sat down and looked at a simple thing as a business plan. What happens when the volumes go up? And it's amazing. And, and that's not something we're experts in, but we can certainly provide guidance and work with some partners and experts that can help you think about that whole journey. And don't just take our word for it across the world with the different players that we work from, right the way from your smaller kit, right the way up to the big beast. We, we work with a, a plethora of different suppliers, uh, and we believe that we have one of the broadest technology bases and the most amazing customers like you guys. And so we're more than happy to have discussion and talk. So thank you very much. I hope that's been enjoyable. Um, and also a little bit of information and maybe one or two things that you can take away with you. And um, I'm also around for, the, for the today and obviously tomorrow if anybody would like a discussion or share any thoughts and ideas about our on project. I'm happy that we just brought on another client um, today, um, Jay, who works on the um, D-Scoop team in the US. And we're working on a really exciting project which is under wraps at the moment for some, doing some flexo pouches. So another happy client that is, that is great to come on board and once again coming up with something completely left field and a new idea and that's a beautiful one. So thank you very much for your time.